everyone my name is Michelle Blackwood from Healthier Steps and today I'm here to share with you an easy recipe it's something I've used for over 10 years and I love to take it I don't know what you call it but on my website it's called nature's penicillin the reason why I love it because this recipe contains all ingredients that are known they are well researched well studied to boost your immune system they're made with just simple everyday ingredients that is in everyone's household I get started what I love for you to do is please share this video if you're seeing me for the first time and you're coming to this channel I want to welcome you to the family so be sure to subscribe and also hit on the notification bell below so that you can be notified on our next video thank you ingredient is grapefruit grapefruit and I want to say if you're on medication make sure to check with your doctor because grapefruit interacts with a lot of medications so especially those who are on high blood pressure medications so you want to consult with your physician and this recipe is not intended to treat disease it's not I'm not giving medical advice I'm merely giving you information that's already out there <laughs> so if you want to do research on grapefruit what it's good for you can go over to my website healthier steps well where I'll give a breakdown of each ingredient and what it's good for or you can use the most easy source Google just Google what is grapefruit good for and you can even find scientific data or data so basically grapefruit lemon lemon everybody knows lemon and guess what if you're in a country that doesn't have you can't find lemon use lime lime the green skin lime or lemon you use what's next best and oranges oranges is everywhere and they're all like I said they're already known to boost the immune system so I'm not giving you any information that is not out there so oranges and you can substitute like I said with any other citrus fruit that is in your location another ingredient that I like to use if you don't have any of these or you have some or you want to eat you can do pineapple too blend up some pineapple I'm gonna put everything in the blender onion onion is great for you and garlic it's very good contains allicin very good for your immune system and ginger also they're good and like I said, if you want details, information of what they do in the system, head on over to my website, healthiersteps.com and search. There'll be a link in this description below, or you can search for Nature's Penicillin Healthier Steps. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to peel them. I've already washed them. So you want to make sure you wash them properly. And then I'm just going to go ahead peel them add them to a blender add some water and I'll talk to you what else you can add to it so I'm gonna peel my grapefruit so you're just gonna peel your grapefruit 
and you're going to go as close to the flesh as possible because grape the, the, the white part or the pit can be so, somewhat bitter so you want to remove as much as you can so but the pit does contain a lot of antioxidants so I'm just going to take off as much as I can though and leave a little bit why not And I'm just going to cut them in large chunks. And grapefruit, like I said, they're high in vitamin. Did I say that? No, I didn't. They boost immune system. Maybe they're high also in vitamin C, flavonoids, and just lots of antioxidants. And they're good for the skin. They're good for the skin. They're just good for the entire system, the body. So... Next is oranges. I'm just going to peel again. I'm just peeling as close to the flesh as possible. But I like oranges because they'll add that sweetness to this recipe. So your oranges, and I'm just cutting them in big chunks again. And we're going to add all this to the blender. Next, I'm adding lemon, and I'm just going to peel my lemon. Same thing. I'm peeling away as much as I can off the white pith and just below the skin as much as possible. I'm going to leave the seeds on because they have so much nutritional benefits too. It's going to be a little on the bitter side but it's going to be good for you. And lemon is so good if you've never tried having warm lemon water in the morning. That's something you should try to do as well to get that lemon that vitamin c in your system is drinking a good, actually like a quart of lemon water lemon with water every morning and see what happens okay so i'm just peeling getting rid of the skin because it's bitter <laughs> and I can just drop this whole. I'm gonna peel, I already washed my ginger, I scrub it, so I'm gonna show you how I peel it. I literally just, and you don't have to peel your ginger, especially how this one is organic ginger. I don't have to, but if you did not purchase um, organic ginger, it's best to peel it, so you just scrape it. I'm gonna leave some on, because there's a lot of nutrients in the skin as well. And your garlic, you're just gonna Peel your garlic, add your garlic, and I'm going to do half a half an onion. That's a lot, but it's good. So, onion, similar to garlic, has a lot of healing properties on the system. So, this is it. We're going to add that, and all I'm going to do is add some water to it to get it started. I'm using a high-speed blender. There'll be a link in the description below to see exactly what blender I use. And I don't even have to, literally, I don't even have to add water. Okay, so we're back and we have everything ready. I'm gonna add, I'm going to add my fruits plus the garlic. I'm just adding everything to the blender, adding all the fruits and onion. So there's onion, garlic, adding all the onions, and lemon, my ginger, garlic I said, orange, grapefruit, and lemon again. <laughs> Just making sure I have everything. And what I'm also going to add, I'm adding some turmeric, very good anti-inflammatory um, spice. Remember, these are all culinary spices and a little cayenne pepper with a little heat, a little, a little heat to get things moving along. So, just adding them. And I'm going to add just a little, actually, I don't even have to add it. Let's see, let's get it moving first.
I'm just pulsing it. Again. So there you go, this is the drink. And I like to drink this throughout the day. Um, take sips of it or just drink it on a regular basis. Say you're drinking some from breakfast, some lunchtime, and some in the evening. So you wanna get this all in. This is like, I made two cups here and what you can do is if you make more like if you end up making a lot more like a whole quart say you have or you just want to make it and keep it in the refrigerator for a longer period um this is what i love to store it in a ball jar and one of those mason jars <laughs> i love to store it in that and then I'll just add it to my mason jar. There you go. And it's best not to leave a lot of air space in it because it'll keep for longer because you know, oxidization. So this made enough perfect for that size. And like I said, it will just be perfect to store and keep refrigerated for like what three to five days and you can have it where you can literally these make nice gifts don't you think pretty this will make really nice gifts to give to your friends and loved ones this winter nice holiday gifts and what you can do is um like i don't mind it like this without um any sweetener but what you can do is also add your favorite sweetener of course don't go adding sugar because <laughs> I'll go for something more natural agave maybe or whatever you like your favorite sweetener and very nice drink very nice it's good Tastes good. It'll be nice to eat pars parsley after. <laughs> or just let all the family drink some. <laughs> you don't worry about having garlic bread. <laughs> so this is nice to share. And what you could add to it too, like I told you, some pineapple or pineapple juice. very tasty very delicious and it's actually good for you <laughs> see you on the next video please subscribe like this video share